everybody. Today I've got two new journals to share with you. Um, this one is just a, another mix of, you know, various um, papers that I have in my stash. And really this one is as well, but I'd say this one is more autumn related. So let's start with the little one. <clears throat> This one is a tiny one, and it is just so sweet. Um, three and a half by, I'd say, four and a quarter. And you can see it's got three signatures in it that I've sewn. And then I've got the little um, Tim Holtz metal plate there that says, The Journey Awakens the Soul. Uh, let's see, I've got this beautiful fabric and then some trim and then I came back with this darker um, sorry silk ribbon that I had left over and made the closure with that so that's all just been stitched in so we'll go inside it's surprising how many um, I can't think off the top of my head how many pages but if you're interested you could check out the description I'll have the um, the total page count within that but yeah, this, it ended up, I was going to make it a two signature, but there was enough room. I thought, oh, I really wanted to fill it out, so I went ahead and made it into three signatures. So on the front, I've just got some fabric ruffle, and then I came back with a little bit of um, trim that I had left over and an old button stitch there. And just various little journal cards and tags, and another um, stash busting journal, I would say, because I've just had leftover bits of um, papers, and I believe this is an Artie Mays, um, her Butterfly Madness is where the uh, papers have come from, and then she had these little circles within that kit, so that was a nice little tuck spot there, and as I said, anything that was just left over in my box, I've got a huge... <laughs> huge box full of scraps again from um, scrapbooking papers and so I'm going to be busy. I, I'm beginning to think um, it's not possible to ever dwindle our stash down <laughs> because I've been attempting now for I think over a year to do it and it's just growing every night. It seems to get larger and larger. Um, tiny little dictionary I picked up at a car boot and I love the size of those pages so I just tucked that in there and then here I love how this came out this is one of those tiny Tim Holtz um, paper clips and I've just attached a little bit of lace and then I stamped sing and then it's holding this mason jar with a stamped bird image so it's a, got a lot of uh, writing space in it and this is one of the eco dyed papers from Artie Mays so if you're looking for some of those, she has gorgeous eco-dyed papers in her shop. And this is Artie Mays again. And then um, I believe this little label is My Porch Prints. She has an October, or it's not October, I think it's a Halloween or autumn kit. And I love those little labels. So again, some more old book pages and... This is really old notebook paper pad I picked up, and this was the um, paper dyeing that I did that kind of went wrong, and it ended up uh, reacting to the metal, so it's come out kind of a gray, but it, it worked nice in here. And in the center of each of the signatures, I've just put a tiny little glass bead and more fabric ruffle. Um, this was a tag from uh, Louise. Uh, Hensel, I believe, um, out of one of her, I think it's Vintage Birds is that uh, kit, so that I had that left over, so I've tucked that up in here. So just a real mix of things, um, but I like the size, as you know, I'm, I, I prefer the tiny journals, I think they're so sweet. And some tabs. And then here I just did a little flip out. So it is definitely more um, an autumn themed journal because I've, I've, oh, this is, um, I should have said this fabric was <laughs> the very 
little bit I've got from uh, Liberty Fabrics, but oh my gosh, it is beautiful material. I'm always on the lookout for um, for deals on their material. Now that I've felt the quality of it, it's amazing. Uh, what I would actually like to do is make a patchwork cover <coughs> out of the autumn colors, but I'm not sure I've got enough unless I can run across another bunch of them. And here's just a little tag I backed with some tea dyed paper. The papers in here are a mix of coffee and tea dyed, but yeah, this is that papers. Um, I think it was the Butterfly Madness kit, and they are really, really pretty for autumn. Just lots of little tags and journal cards. That's been tucked in there. And then this flips out so you got even more writing space. So it's a pretty chunky little journal, even though it's very small in size. It does have a lot of space to write in. This is a freebie from Artie Mays. Isn't that a gorgeous tag? She's so generous with her things. This one I made a double tuck spot with that little banner. Um, but yeah, I had forgotten, guys, with everything going on um, prior to all of this. Uh, what I intend to do, and I don't know if I'll get the chance to do it this year. I can't make any promises, but I had totally forgotten. I intended to start a series on junk journaling for free. So bear with me. I haven't forgot. Well, I had forgotten about it, but I'm going to make a note and I'm going to try to do that series in November. Um, and it won't be very long. I mean, when I say a series, it'll probably just be a couple of. Um, I might even be able to do it in one. I doubt it. Um, probably one or two should work. But what my thinking was is I will share all of the free resources that I use within that journal. And um, because I want to encourage people who haven't uh, gotten into. Oh, you are joking me. <laughs> I cannot believe this. <laughs> It's stuck. You know I can't get through a video without at least one thing being stuck. So, <laughs> um, I want to encourage people out there, you know, that want to get into it and feel like, oh, it's, you know, I don't have the money to do so. I'm going to try to do it with all items that we can gather from the house. The only thing, you know, most people have a printer, but that will be the only thing that you would need a printer to print the um, the free kits from. But I've had a lot of ladies that have been really helpful um, on gathering uh, free links for me. So thank you. You know who you are, so thank you so much for sharing those. And then on the back of that, you've got a little snippet with an old button there. Um, so as I said, that is my plan, and I'll try to do that you know, before... I, I take my break because I'm going to be away December and at least the beginning of January. Um, so I'll try to do that because I think it's really important. And particularly anyone who's getting time off at Christmas, it might encourage you to really make a start. So I will jot that down. Okay, here we go. So you know how much I love that fabric. Um... This is an altered Reader's Digest <clears throat> book. The last time I was over in Wales, um, I found a little thrift shop and I got a really good deal on, on a couple of these. And my husband was looking at me like, are you kidding me? Do you need more books? And I said, oh, but they're the perfect size. So, <laughs> so that's why I came back and I thought, oh, I must work with this fabric again. Because it is, to me, this is truly a vintage look to it 
And then, of course, I dug around in my stash because it is getting out of hand, guys. The uh, lace and doilies I've got, I'm embarrassed to even show. I've got so many now, and they're scattered about within four drawers, so I've got to sort that out. But I found this one. I thought, oh my gosh, doesn't that complement that? So I've attached that. And then I came back over it here on the front. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't know where this image came from. But I just thought, oh, this is so, it just really went together. And this is really old um, lace that I've put back behind there. And then I've just come back with lots of little snippets. And then, you know, these old, these are all mother pearl buttons. You can tell those are old ones. So I love that. I'm so pleased with how that came out. <clears throat> the closure, sorry, silk. Um, <clears throat> this is a two signature. This has got the hollow back um, spine so that when you're journaling, that's going to lie nice and flat for you. And on the front here, let's see. Now this is a true mix. Um, this is calico collage. Um, Deli Girl. I've got some of her images in here. I mean, honestly, it there's so many different designers. I'm not going to be able to name everybody, but um, I will try to point out any of them that I recognize. And this is uh, Calico Collage. I believe that was from Songbird, which is one of my favorite kits um, that Norella made. That That's one of my my top ones. That one and Sunny Morning. I love that one because it's got the sunflowers. Here I've just got this little charm. It says Made with Love and it's got a tiny, tiny key and then that's put onto a key tag. And So I did a lot of fabric in this one. Um, I just I wanted it to have a really nice um, this is like a shabby chic vintage and these papers are my porch prints. She's got the shabby rose ledger papers. They are stunning. Absolutely stunning. So do check that out. Um, you, you'll just fall in love with those papers. And over here, this is a tsunami rose. I made it into an envelope. And then I believe this is one of the Artie Mays free Believe it or not, that's free, so we will be using that in this series coming up. Because um, as I said, um, Andrea, who's Artie Mays, she is very generous with freebies. Um, so check out her. She's got a Facebook group, and she has a blog. So check her out. Um, here I've made a little window. This is uh, tracing paper. I've got acetate. Acetate, yes, As is it? A a acetate paper. I don't even know where that's at. Another item. Oh, I do hope I get time this week to go through my um, studio. <laughs> Stamping here, stitching, and then here I've aged the safety pins and put some little glass beads and a little fabric tab. Like I said, I've tried to add quite a bit of little snippets here and there. And this is just a little flip out, and it's a a cut off from the Edith Holden papers, but I thought, well, it's so there's plenty of writing space there, so you can make a little secret note there. And this is, um, again, this is part of my porch prints kit, and this is more of the tsunami rose. I've been working a lot with the tsunami rose, um, digital that's charming fragment fragments, and that is the first uh, digital kit I ever purchased. And I have used that time and time again. Um, Artie Mays, more of her free tags. Aren't those collaged beautifully? Um, the pocket here is from Calico Collage. I believe that is part of the Songbird. And then again, another little snippet I've made. Old, old papers, old book page added some trim here. These papers are my porch print. When you purchase um, Stephanie's kits, she, depending on which kit, you will get, I'm sorry, this this is not, I take that back. 
Um, some of the others I use, um, she will always give you a background, but I am mistaken on that. I don't remember. I'm sorry, I do not remember. This could have been from the Graphic Fairy, but I cannot recall right now, guys. I'm sorry. Um, more stitching here. Some German book page. Here is an envelope pocket, so you can just add something in there. I've just left that blank. Um, some more fabric that I had. Another little snippet here. And this was an off cut I had left over, so I just made a little notepad there. And um, this is one of the free <coughs> pages that you get from Artie Mays, but I printed it onto cardstock and just cut it into tags because I thought it was beautiful as tags. So think about that, you know, if you're new, um, you can just print these designs that you like onto cardstock and then cut them out as tags. You know, if they're already really nicely collaged and Ari Mays does amazing collages. So, um, Edith Holden book page. There's the center of that signature. Doily, another little tag I've made. This is a Tsunami Rose, as is this. This is Tsunami Rose as well. And some more of the coordinating paper, um, fabric. I just made a ruffle in, out of that. So here I've made a, a be fabric belly band and added some buttons. And then this is Tracy Fox in her ephemera pack. Love this. This is so, so nice to use. And here I just stapled that, um, made a little tuck spot there, and then I had this old notebook pad, and that's where I got the other offcuts from. So I just, and these got the, you could tear them out, and then you could just keep refilling that if you wanted to, but I thought that was really sweet as a little extra bit of writing. Um, here's the back of the envelope, and I've just included another little card, some more uh, snippets. I love how this journal has come out. Um, some more fabric ruffle. I love that. I wish I had more of that material, but I've used it all. Here I've made a little um, CD. It's an altered CD case <coughs> with a journal card there. And I've stamped Believe. And that tucks in there. And then I just did some collaging around that. And again, this is Tsunami Rose Paper, but I thought it coordinated nicely. On the back here, I've added one of the Tim Holtz little photo uh, dies, and then another little ticket here. Just various things I thought went along with this. Love how that came out. Old, old papers. Here, I've got another little dimensional butterfly on that journaling card. This is a Tsunami Rose Pocket um, that comes within the Charming Fragments. Some more trim. You can see, it's they're big signatures. Um, old, I believe I <coughs> checked the date on this, was around, <coughs> excuse me, about 1905, that, that music sheet paper. Another Tsunami Rose. Um, pocket and little journal cards there. So that's been added to that. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with my voice today. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> we went to the flea market yesterday and it was pouring down rain here, but I don't think I picked up a cold. Um, here's just a little tuck spot I made and then added this old button to that little scrap of fabric I had. Onto the second signature. Here I've just made a little altered um, paper clip, and then this is just from the internet, and another little pocket on the back there with a tag that's just been tucked under that. I like the way that looks. Um, here I've got another little pocket from Tsunami Rose, another little cluster uh, fabric snippet, altered mini uh, Rolodex card, and then just various things from my stash. 
so as I was saying, I went to the flea market and it was really, we kind of knew when we headed that way that it wasn't going to be very good because it was absolutely pouring down. So the only people who were really <clears throat> showed up for it were the people who stay inside the big barns and they tend to sell antique dishes and things and I, you know, that's not what I was looking for. But um, here's a couple more journal cards. And that's just a little flower with a button stitched to that. <clears throat> so yeah, it wasn't, um, I've picked up a few things, but nothing really that exciting. Um, I'm trying to think. Tsunami Rose, this is. And that's another little journal card there. Isn't that sweet? I love that. And then in the back here, I've just tucked in a couple more. There's a tag I made, and then this is Artie Mae's from one of her kits. I can't recall which one that is, because I'm, I'm getting all, you know, I showed you how I keep, I try to separate my designers, and so I do tend to forget which kit items come from um, when I work with a lot of them, because Artie Mae's, I've done several of her kits now. Fabric ruffles, another little tab, more Edith Holden book page, paper, gorgeous, and that's the center of the signature. And this this book, I believe, was about 1910 or something. I got that page from, and it's still in really good. Um, condition. You know, some of them can get very brittle, but that one's held up very nice. And then here I've done a little flip over, and you've got two tags within that, a little mason jar, and then I made this tag that's tucked in there. And then here, this is Artie Mae's. She's got these big um, vintage uh, ticket uh, checks that you can print. And this is an original receipt, a uh, French receipt. It's 1943, so it's not that old, but I've included that because I think that's really pretty on that blue paper. So that's tucked in there. Some more fabric uh, tab. And then here I've got another little pocket with various bits of ephemera. Some trim there. And then this last page I've done a uh, belly band here and I love how that came out with just uh, book pages, music sheet, offcuts of uh, digitals and then some tool and then this um, bit of uh, trim that I've got and then that image is a My Porch Print. Her ephemera pack is gorgeous. If you like uh, shabby chic or roses, that one's absolutely beautiful. Now the back cover I've left blank, so if anybody wanted they could add like a coin envelope to it, but it was quite chunky, so I thought I'd just leave it as it was. So here they are. Those are the two I've got complete, and as I said, I've got tomorrow, I've got a few things to show you guys with our um, Five on the Dime Challenge. So stay tuned for that, because at the end of the, <clears throat> when I show the challenge tomorrow, I've got three paper bag journals um, that I'll be showing on that video tomorrow. So I will let you guys go. I hope you have a great week, and I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye.